Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen, Higher Guidance Life Coach. Today I want to talk about limiting beliefs because it's something that many people struggle with, myself included, and it's something that holds you back in life. It keeps you from living the life you are meant to live. It can keep you from living the life you wish you could live. And it's because we're doing all this self-talk, this negative self-talk. That's really what a limiting belief is. It's something that we believe about ourselves that's really not true or it's more negative than anything. And so we might have been saying some of these things for years, for an entire lifetime. Um, for myself, um, I, I fell prey to what a lot of women felt fall prey to. And they say things like, oh, I'm so fat. Oh, I'm not pretty. And this was uh, really strong for me in my later teenage years and my early 20s when I put on a lot of weight. And so I was hanging out with girlfriends and they had boyfriends and I could never find a boyfriend. And I would look at myself in the mirror and I would just look at myself with disgust. I'm like, oh, you're so fat. You're so ugly. And I mean, think about how we talk about ourselves we would never do that to our best friend or to a family member. You know, it, so it's something that we allow ourselves to do to ourselves when we would never treat other people in that way. And so when you start saying this over and over and in your head, sometimes you know you're doing it, sometimes you don't. It becomes so ingrained that we're doing it subconsciously. Um, it can really cause problems in our world, in our life and moving forward in our life. I also struggled with many um, limiting beliefs around money and success. One of my limiting beliefs was that in order for me to make a really nice income, I had to work really hard. And I spent many, many years working so hard, working so many hours in my corporate job and believing that that's the only way I could get ahead. Or once we started our first cleaning business, I would work so many hours. Steve and I both would work a lot of hours, but for me, it was, for him, it was more passion. For me, it was more, I need to do this because I need to help grow the company. We've got to make more money. And so I had this belief that that was the only way that I could be successful. So it took me a while to work through that. And I've definitely had success since then in my life. And we grew that business to a large size, but, um, you know, it took a, it, for me, I believe it took longer than it should have if I had not had those limiting beliefs. And so how do you get rid of limiting beliefs, especially these ones that are with us for sometimes years, sometimes your entire lifetime? Well, one of the things that I do as a Higher Guidance Life Coach is I help people to identify what their limiting beliefs are because sometimes we don't always know what all the limiting beliefs are. And I can get very specific and figure out um, what your limiting beliefs are. And then we can work to clear that. I have a process for clearing that and then replacing it with more positive self-talk. And so I have some affirmations or I would create um, an affirmation specifically for you to turn around what that limiting belief should be instead of the negative way. And so let me just um, give you an example of one that I wrote. So um, one of them is I'm not meant to make a lot of money, right? So if you go through life and you have always found that you could only reach a certain level of income, eventually you start telling yourself, well, maybe I'm just not meant to make more money. Maybe this is my station in life and this is where I'm supposed to always be. How can we turn that around? So here is what I wrote as a more of a positive affirmation to I'm not meant to make a lot of money. I am worthy of receiving enough money to make me feel abundant. So worthiness has a lot to do with limiting beliefs. A lot of times we don't feel worthy of making enough money. We don't feel worthy of finding that love of our life, right? And so, you know, you can turn those things around. And that's, again, one of the things that I can help my Higher Guidance Life coaching clients through and once we clear some of that, once we get you back on track with more positive beliefs and affirmations, then we can start working on some of the other stuff that you want because we all have dreams. And a lot of times what I am helping my clients do is get back into alignment with their purpose. And first we got to clear out those limiting beliefs. And again, the, the limiting beliefs it also, it's kind of like a habit, right? So we've gotten into the habit of saying these negative things. And so 
habits typically take at least 21 days to form. You have to do something 21 days in a row before you start to feel like it's natural to you, right? They talk about that a lot and eating a better diet and, and getting better foods into your body. You need to do it for 21 days and suddenly it becomes a habit, right? Kind of the same thing with the affirmations. You can't just say affirmations for a couple of days and expect them to work. So we will have a formula for you to work on your affirmations and we can go from there. So if you're curious about this, if you believe that you have limiting beliefs like I've had in my life, I encourage you to go to my website at gene or at genehanson.com, J-E-A-N-H-A-N-S-O-N. And check out the Higher Guidance Life Coaching Services that I have. I also have um, a discovery uh, call that you can do if you're curious and would like to get a short a sample of what a session looks like. It's about a 20-minute session. And I also encourage you, if you're not already a member of my Facebook group, um, you'll see that on the website, to join the Facebook group because we do lots of fun things in there on different spiritual topics and things like this with limiting beliefs. So thanks for listening, and I hope you are able to join the group, and I hope to see you on the next video.